Thorn. Gotis. Welcome everybody here, here at the Power Hockey Canada Cup 2019 in Toronto, Ontario. So this game is about to take place between the Toronto Tories and the Calgary Celestes. But first, ball drop. The first game of the tournament. Your starting lineups for the Toronto Soros. On forward, we have Michael Martins alongside Ramin Ramop and Harris Reed. On the blue line, we have Megan Hines and Luigi Luciandro in goal. For the Calgary Selects, we have Ishan Manorakar manning the pipes, along with Captain Nathan Glostos, Jeff Barrett, Ben Thorne. And the opening face-off of the Power Hockey 2019 Canada Cup is about to happen. <laughs> face-off won by the Toronto Toro. Balls up on the board. Shot in deep behind the Calgary Selects net. Barrett picks it up. The ball is out of play, face off. As mentioned, this is the opening game of the 2019 Power Hockey Canada Cup. The first tournament ever. Face off under the Toros. Odo pits up the ball in his own zone. He's been trapped by the Selects. Selects pits up the puck, clears it down into the Toro zone. Hines in after it. Being pursued by two select players. The fighting for the ball in the corner. Hines seems to have threw the ball in the corner. Trying to give it to Martins. But the select forwards right in there trying to trap it. Round it, puts up behind the net, outlet pass. But Barrett stops it and directs it in the corner. He's being pursued by Martins. Barrett's playing with it in the corner. So Reed now. Shot on goal, big save by Manor Card. Thorne up the boards. Plus this to that. Martins has it now. Martins. Loses it. But three's there and kicks it out. How do you select? Pick it up in their net. Behind their net, sorry. Martin's at center, gains control of the Toros. He's looking for the lens net and he launches it. Oh, and he just shoots it over the net. Manitar gets it at that one, but the ball is out of play. 
Toro seems to have a majority of the possession here to start the game. Let's see if that continues. Granit on the draw here, the sell ups. Granit wins it clean, back to Odo. Face off that center right, so it's like. The game is scoreless with 12.37 remaining in the first period. Not too many chances thus far, but we'll see if that changes. Round it once again, dominating on the faceoff. Clears it cleanly all the way back into his zone. Now he's over center. He's looking for a break, but Barrett May gets to steal the ball from him. Steered into the corner. The select seemed to be content to keep the ball in the corner and lace on the net, trapped in the Toros. Harris now running the net, big chance to the Toros, but he's stolen by Phillips, and Phillips clears it down. Hines now directs it into a corner of the Toros. The ball is in the corner to the right of the Toros goal. Round it up the boards. All but he loses it, and Phillips sets a chance on net. Three now behind his own net for the Toros, being pressured by Thorne. Great outlet pass around it. Round it's breaking in. Toros might have a chance here. Round it on the boards. Pulls back, but his shot is blocked. Slats getting control in the corner. Outlet pass from the Slats. Martin's manages to find the ball in the corner. Hines picks up the ball for the Toros and brings it safely to the right of goal and leaves it for Martins. Martins looking to the outlet pass and manages to get it, but it's blocked. Martins and Solon battling in the corner. Ball speeds out to Phillips. Phillips to the slot. Goes just picks it up to the select, but has to take it back into his own zone. Drops off to Phillips. Pressed by Sarid and he loses the ball. Sarid in the corner. Throws out and run off the post. He gives it to Ron at. Oh, no. So the opening five minutes of this game, the play seems to be in the corners a lot. The selects. Really want to trap the speed and skill of the Toros and make them work for it. Harris now around the select's net, tries to stop it, but he's stopped by Manor Car. Harris now in the corner, gives it to Ronak. Ronak's taking it around front, looking for the pass, decides to keep it and shoots on net. Slot to pitch it up. Phillips has it. He's trying to clear it. But Ron, it's all on him. He gets it to Dallas House at center. So he picks up with the Toros. Over the center line. He's looking for a shot. He gets it to the net. Manic goes up to the challenge. Slats try to clear it, but can't do so. Michael Martins is holding the center line to the Crown of Toros. Throws to the Slats now. Being pressured by Farid. Adding a shot, but then Solomon Man just to clear it. Almost to the center line, but Martins manages to bump him and get the ball back. He takes it into the counter Toro zone. Fires one on net and just misses wide. Ball out of play. Face off 
in the Toro zone. 8.23 remaining in the first period. And it looks like we have our first substitution to the game for the Toronto Toros. Harris Farid will come out and Nassib Odo will take his place. Both strong, skilled forward to the Toros that can do a lot of damage. Face off not center ice. Around it, this is Phillips. Around it, lends it back to Odo. Odo going wide on Vargas House and almost flips his chair. Slots pick it up in the corner. Ball goes out of play. Oh no, we have a penalty. And it looks like it's Nasib Odo. Just came into the game and now going off. Time for the selects on the power play. Let's see if they can do some damage and take the first lead of the game. 8 12 from in the first period. We got Thorne Paul. Blows Coast and Jeff Barrett out of the selects. Ball on the corner behind the Toro's net. Selects are battling for possession. The man is still eight. Here comes Michael Martin to the Toro's. Carrying it out of the zone. Launches it on net just wide, however. Barrett now leaves it for his teammate. Paul up the boards, launches it deep into the Toro zone. Grows Terrace on it. He's battling with Martins. Around it, man, is a steal it though for the Toros. Martins has it with the Toros once again. Over the center line, and he seems to flip it on net. And just wide of the goal once again, Martins is trying to find his long range game. He's had a few good chances, but it's just missed. If he can get that dialed up, he'll be deadly the rest of this game. Face off to the right of the Calgary Selects. Just over a minute remaining in the penalty. Grosso Selects now on a break. Shot on net, but Luciano is up to the task and the ball goes behind the net. Grosso. Drops it off the thorn. Thorn's playing with it on the boards. Working his way out into the slot. Shot on, but blocked by Martins. Martins now on a counter attack. But he's blocked by Barrett. Brown at the Torres picks it up just inside his own center line. Trying to get it clear, but he's being relentlessly pursued by Ben Thorn of the Calgary Selects. Luckily, Martins picks up the ball behind the Toro's net. Hines sets a great pick. But Martins get it stolen by Thorne. Thorne up to Dallas Towers, but the ball is just out of his reach. And the slot starts to clear the zone. Dallas Towers now up the boards to Thorne. Slot to clear the ball. Martins now picks it up. Martins over the center line. Martins launches it again. Just wide again and out of play. Toro's back to full strength. Face off to the right of the Calgary Selects and Manitar. 5.57 in the main unit first period. We're still scoreless. Face off one by Ronette. Gets into the slot. Great shot, but Manitar. Huge back tire save. Team's fighting for the ball in the slot, but it pops out to the select. Try to get over the center line, but the turn back by Odo. Round the net now, behind the net. Going around the right side of the goal, and he manages to tuck it in. 
for the first goal of the 2019 Carlo Hockey Cup, Ramin Raonat on a wraparound to give the Toronto Toros a one to nothing lead with 524 remaining in the opening frame. There must have been a little bit of room between Manorakar on the post and Raonat managed to sneak it on in there. one nothing Toros. Ran out, wins it out, clean back to Odo. Odo's being pursued by Thorne. Hines into the set to pick. He gets a pass out to Round it. Round it and on a partial breakaway. He's reaching to the ball, but it manages to go to the right in the corner. Thorne clears the ball at least all the way down. Hines blocks it and loses it to Martins. Martins clears it up the ball to Odo. Team's fighting for it just inside the Cowboy Select Zone. Ronit finds it, clears it, gets the center line, launches it on net, just wide and out of play. The Toros have had much of the possession here in the opening 11 minutes of the first period. Most of the plays within the Cowboy Select Zone. However, they have done a solid job at containing the Toros' offense. Odo now off the face off. Tries to find one. Get it to net with its block. Goes close now for the select. Settles the ball down in the corner. Gets it out to Ben Thorne. Ben Thorne tries to clear it, but shoots it out his own teammate. And the ball goes back down behind the select's net. Down the net now. Gives a pass to the point to Odo. Odo tries to keep it in. But he can't get over the center line, so it's team has to clear. Oh, go now. Tried to cross it to Martins, who's on the opposite side of the well, breakout pass, but wasn't able to do so. Throws test now with the select. Takes control behind his own net. Went into the lane up ice. Tries to clear it, but it's blocked. Round it now in the slot, fighting for the ball. Gains control, but he's no longer in a starting position. He's been trapped on the half boards to the left of Manor Car. 3.30 remaining in the first period. 1-0 Toros. Something is going on with the round that's real care. Not sure to what extent. But it looks like you might have a tire issue as they are pushing his chair off the floor. Or a battery issue, perhaps. Face off to the left of Manor Car. Into the mean Rana is Sir Severio Romano. Got a little delay here, folks. On the floor for the Toros, Martins, Odo, Romano, and Hines. For the selects, we got Thorne, Paul, Grosskos, and Phillips. Romano's a chance, but it's saved by Manorikar. Odo fighting for the ball on the half boards. Trying to find Severio at the point. Odo to the front of the net. But wide and into the corner. Select, take possession. Select, try to clear it, but Romano's there to hold it in at the blue line. Romano looking for Martins, but seems to give it away. Goes to us, man, just to find the ball and chip it out. Ordo now for the select, just inside. Sorry, Ordo now for the Toros. Ordo dumps it in. Martins on heavy pursuit of the ball, but he manages to lose it to Phillips. Paul now. 
Paul wanted one in on that behind and managed to block it for their goaltender. Paul Sisolette now finds the ball again in the Toro zone. Paul battling with Martin for it. Martin's managed to steal it. Martin's outlet pass to Odo. Odo over center. Odo coming in, he's got a chance. Massively blocked out now, but he still manages it to get towards the net, but Barrett blocks it again. Odo to Martin's, Martin's in the slot. Martin shot, huge save by Manor upon the ball goes out of play. That was the Toro's best chance, arguably, so far, but Manor are up to the challenge. Toro still lead one to nothing with 157 remaining. Face off to the left of the selects. Dole. Oh, they're not quick shot off the draw, but wide out of play. As mentioned, the Toros are having a field day on the faceoffs right now. Something you want to keep your eye on for the remainder of the game, as possession is key. Oh, Romano right off the jaw hits the post. That would have been sneaky. Goes to us with the selects now, regains in possession. Tries to chip it out, but the Toros just swarm him every time and managed to keep the ball in the offensive zone. Romano on the half boards now to the right of Manorikar. He loses it and Gross test picks it up again. Gross test, the selects captain, carries it over the center ice line. Tries to see the pass to Paul, but it's turned back by Romano. Romano up to Martins. Martins is battling for it. Ball's under the chair, no one can seem to find it so far. Oh, John Howard drops it back to Romano. Romano shots blocked. Martin shot on net, just wide. 54 seconds remaining in the first period of the Power Hockey Canada Cup here at Humber College in Toronto, Ontario. Martin's on the draw against Thorne. Martin's wins the draw clean. Gives it to Odo. Odo tries to shoot it on net, but it's steered aside by Barrett. Barrett brings it to the corner and drops it off to Gross House. Gross House, the selects captain, picks it up. Tries to clear the zone with it, but once again, oh no, it manages to sweep out. Odo picks it up in his own zone. Trying to find the lane with 31 seconds left. He manages to do so over the center line to Martin's. Martins loses it for Romano, but there's a miscue, and the Selects defenseman Barrett manages to find it. Odo now in the select in the Toro zone. Takes it behind his own net, Hines sets the pick. Odo launches the ball to Romano, draws to picks it off. Keeps it in, 10 seconds remaining. Odo now up to Romano, is there enough time for the one final rush? There is not, as Barrett kills the final seconds in the corner. The Toros lead the Calgary Selects 1-0 at the one period in the opening game of the Power Hockey Canada Cup in Toronto, Ontario. Entertaining first period. Toronto Toros seem to have a lot of the possession, but the Calgary Selects were up to the task defensively, seemingly not allowing the Toros to get to the middle of the floor, trying to contain them to the corner on the sideboards. Smart strategy. We'll see what happens though in the remaining two periods. The Toros can manage to rate that and get to the middle of the net and get more shots on that. Could be interesting. The slots on the other hand, like I said, playing great defense, but that'll push the pace a little bit more offensively. I'm not for their counter attack to see if they can get this game all knotted up that one in the second period. We have a quick four minute break now, and uh, second period action will get on its way.
two minutes and 57 seconds remaining in the first intermission here. Chrono Toros lead the Cali Selects 1 0 off the wrap around goal by Lamina Rownet. Snotted in on the short side on Ishan Manor Cartley Selects, who's been pretty busy thus far in the opening period. Toros are firing a lot of long range shots on the Selects goaltender. So far, they've been missing wide, but we'll see if that, uh, if that changes in the final 30 minutes of the opening contest here. I'm not in either huddle, but it'll be interesting to note. I think the Toros coaching staff, probably pretty happy with their start. They're getting a lot of chances. Putting the ball on net as much as possible. Same can probably be said to the Calgary Selects. Haven't had much of the possession, down one nothing, but are containing the Toros, getting their chances. Fifty seconds remaining in the first intermission to the Calgary Selects and the Toronto Toros. Toros up one nothing, as I just mentioned, over the Selects in the opening game of the Power Hockey Canada Cup. Up next, uh, in a little while, we will have the Michigan Mustangs versus the Philadelphia Power Play. The two American teams in the tournament, both very impressive. Starting the second period for the Toronto Tories, we have Nasib Odo, Severia Romano, Michael Martins, and on defense, Alex McLean. For the select, we got Ben Thorne, Kevin Phillips, Nathan Groskloss, the captain, and Jeff Barrett. Martins versus Phillips. Little knuckles there to start the period, and <whistles> second period is under right. Martins with the draw. Dumps it in deep. Phillips after it. Phillips and Martins battling through the ball in the corner. Romano sitting at the point, waiting for the pass. Odo's fighting for it. So that's cleared out of the zone. McLean stops it with the Toros, leaves it with Romano. Romano picks a puck up in his own zone. Romano into the outlet pass, manages to get it deep in the select zone. Throws toes, picks up the select behind Manor Being trapped in by Martins and Odo. Fallen in the help, Fallen finds the ball with the select. Fallen up the ball, but Romano tries to keep it into the Toros, but has to lose it and retreat to his own zone. Romano launches the outlet pass on Martins. Martins on it. Barrett rubs it into the boards. Phillips, outlet pass. Romano keeps it in. Gets a shot just wide of the goal. Phillips in behind the net, battling with Martins. Phillips tries to use the board, but the ball seems to die. Round it, out in front. 
Sorry, Odo. Phillips now, clearly to the line. But Romano manages to keep it in and sends it back in deep into the select zone. Barrett and Martin fighting for it. To the right of Manor Car. Phillips out to Romano. Romano holds it in with Toros. Is that the point? Ah, and he shoots it over the net and wide. That was a great chance. Wide open looks on the blue line. No selects in sight to block that shot, but he just puts it high and wide. Aldo and Phillips on the draw. Slots win the draw, outlet pass, but Romano keeps it in. Great shot on net, and Manorakar with a huge save. Used his face on that one. Romano keeps it in again. Oh, Dostoe steals it. Still in the other way. But Odo manages to retreat and steal the ball at the select captain. Odo behind his own net. Finds some space, gives an outlet pass to Romano. Romano quick pass to Martins. Martins in. Martins tries to center it, but it's blocked by Barrett. Martins behind the select goal now. Seeds it over to Romano. And Romano tucks it in on the pass of Martins. The Toronto Toros extend their lead to the nutmeg with 12.04 remaining in the second period. That was a great goal by Severio Romano on an even better assist from Martins. Romano had a backdoor tap in there after Martins made a great pass from behind the line. Man and Atari couldn't get over quick enough. Face off that center ice. Let's make a change after that goal and bring Sean Paul back into the game for Kevin Phillips. Face off to the left of the Toros goaltender, Luis Andro. Toros win the draw behind their own net. Odo has it. Being pressured by Thorn. Martins now in the select zone. Tries to send it out at rent, but it's stolen away. Goes to us, has it the select. He's being relentlessly pursued by Martins. Martins has it on hat boards, drops it off. Oh, but it's blocked. Ball goes back into the Toro zone. Odo picks it up. McLean with the pit to give Odo some space. Odo now using his net as a pick. Thorns right on him though and turns him back. Forces Odo to chip the ball out of the zone. Ball goes out of play and face off comes to the right of Lucy Andrew on the Toro zone. Ben Thorn on the draw. Oh, no. Sean Paul on the draw with Martins. Oh yeah, the penalty, my mistake. So it's Alex McClain to the Toronto Toros. Two minute minor. Selects back on the player at power plate with a second time in the game. Toros make the defensive substitution. Severi Romano comes off for veteran Megan Hines to man the blue line while the Toros are on the penalty kill.
There seems to be a mishap. McLean was put in the box. But that must have been a mistake because the refs just rectified it and took them out. So the select power play is no more. We're back at full strength with 10.50 remaining in the second period. Toronto Toros up 2 to nothing. Assistant captain Alex McLean is talking to the refs right now trying to figure out what went on there. Not sure why he uh, was put in the penalty box, but hopefully we find out soon what happened there. Face off at center ice. <whistles> Martins wins a draw to Romano. Romano launches it from center. Oh, and he scores. Severio so Romano is set into the night. The Toros lead the select three to nothing. Just four minutes in to the second period here at Humber College. Right off the faceoff, Martin to Severio Romano. Romano launched it on net, off the crossbar, off Manitou's wheelchair, and in the back of the net. So perfect bounce. Romano tries out the draw again, but it's blocked this time. Then Florin on it, like a dog on a bone. That's a chance on net, but Luciano's up to the task. Toros clear the ball into the select zone. Barrett finds it in the corner where the selects. Liz it or draws close. Close, close, trying to find some room. He's pinned behind his own goal right now. Odo and Martins are right on him. Romano finds it at the blue line with the Toros. Fires it on net and just misses the post. Omer scored his third of the night, and we're not even halfway through the game yet. Face off that center because that Romano shot from the blue line went wide and out of play. Selects really need to push the pace here. Paul on the draw. Paul manages to win the draw and fire it deep into the Toro zone. McLean picks it up behind his own net with the Toros. Gives it to around the net. Or no, nope, Odo. Odo clears it. Paul picks it up with the selects. Brings it into his own zone. Being pursued by Martins. Martins and Brock's to clear. Martins in the select zone. Plays it in deep. Blocked by Paul. Paul tries to fire it out of his own end. Hits up the wheelchair and goes deep behind his own net. Barrett picks it up. Barrett loses it for his teammate. So that's clear, but Romano keeps it at the blue line. Romano tries to find Martins in the slot with it, but Paul stops it. Sean Paul to the selects now, trying to find an outlet pass to draw his toes. But Romano high sticks it. All the way down. Face off in the Toronto Toro zone. Nine ten remaining in the second frame here at Humber College between the Toronto Toros and the Calgary Selects. Face off to the left of Luciandro. <whistles> Thorn on the draw with Odo. The battle in the floor, but the ball sweeps out to a man with the Selects. He chips out to Martins. Martins coming in on a two on two. Martins looking for it. Martins gives it to Odo. Odo's on the break. Odo gets a shot, but big save by Manor Car. Odo tries to fire it back out in front, but throws to his air to steal it with the select. He finds the lane, the man just to carry it up the boards. Approaching center. Throws to his, gets turned back by Odo. Martin's in heavy pursuit. Romano now for the Toros at the blue line, tries to fire it on net, but blocked by Ben Thorne. Selecting Toros. 
Battling for the ball in the half boards. Martin steals it from Joe's close. Gives it to Odo. Odo's running his way into the slot. He's fighting with, four, with the ball in the half boards here. Odo sends it in front, but it's stolen by Joe's close. Thor now trying to clear it with the select. Thorne and Martin's battling for at the center line. Martin steals it, takes it into the Toro zone. Martin's now tries to clear it with the Toro, but it's blocked by Thorne, who's always on the ball, always floor chatting, never giving the Toro's offensive weapons any chance. Martin's behind his own net. Ardo sends it deep in the select zone. Paul has it, where the select clears it in deep. McLean blocks it with the Toros, but throws Toros is right there at the select. In the Toros corner. There it leaves it to Paul. Paul up the floor. Martin's that's it running the net. Martin's shot in tight, but man of a car. Odo leaves it to Romano. Romano chips it right off the post and out. Grostos pulls it off the line. And the Selects escape. Selects now clear it. Martin's blocks it. Or McLean blocks it. Odo picks it up with the Toros. Toro's in over the select line again. Odo tries to send it and run for Romano, but the pass doesn't get through and goes into the select corner. Goes to the select, picks up behind his own net, carries it down the boards. Banks it up the boards, goes around Odo, but Odo with that long reach manages to hook the ball and send it back deep in the select zone. Paul picks it up behind his own net, clears it out. Joe's toast now finds it. He had a two on one, but he wasn't able to hang on to it. Try to say a shot through, but it's blocked, and Odo clears it for the Toros. Barrett now behind his own net for the Selects. Getting pressured, but it's trying to give it to Joe's toast. Joe's toast of the Selects finds it. Drops it off to Paul. Paul over the center line. Low shot on net, just wide up corner. McLean picks it up to the Toros behind his own net. Martin's in there as well. Ball stuck in the corner. Chipped out. McLean picks it up with the Toros to the right of his own goal. Martin signs it. Carries it behind his own net. Clears it out. But Barrett stops at the line. Odo's there to pick it up, however. Odo now to the slot. Lights one rip and just misses wide. Throws close. Finds it behind his own net. Drops it off for Paul. Paul swings the other way behind his own net. Selects to kind of set up some blocks. Martin steals it now. Martin's in the slot. And goes top shelf over the legs of Manor Car. With 4.25 left in the second period, the Toronto Toros extend their lead to four. Four nothing over the Calgary Selects. The Selects seem to be breaking out of their own zone there pretty nicely, but turn the ball over to Martlo's at Martin's at the wrong place. Wide open in the slot, you turn, shoots, and fires. Top shelf. Toronto Toros now made another change. Into the game, Ryan Bellamy. The young superstar. Finds the ball in the select zone. Gives it to Martins at the point. Martins gives it over. 
to Odo, who's being pursued by Thorne. Ball comes out to Toro's regroup in their own zone. Long shot on by Martins, easily handled by Manorakar. Gross Toast finds it. Gross close. Maintains possession, keeps it behind his net. He's getting double teamed now by Odo and Bellamy. Bellamy finds it. Paul and Bellamy battling. Odo steals the ball. Odo gives up to Martins. Martins keeps it back in on net. Bellamy, Odo, it's all in front. They're battling for it. It was right there. Odo has it. Tries to jam it in, but manages to hit the post and somehow go wide. Selects escape that one. Martins gets at the point with the Toros, and he fumbles the ball. Has to take it out and clear the zone. Martins deep into his own zone. Launches it back in deep after he regains possession. Grows close with the select, picks up behind his own net. Takes it around the boards. Goes wide around Bellamy. But Odo's there to stuff him. Bellamy, Odo, and Dostos battling for the ball on the half boards. Odo manages to find it. But Dostos steals it, and he's got a partial break here. Coming in down the wing. Gets directed into the corner, and unfortunately, he selects down of the shot there. Thor now on the boards. Leaves it to Paul. Paul cradles it. Fires it on net. Luciano has it. The ball sitting in the crease. Odo manages to find it clear. And now he's on the counter attack. Over the select line. Into the zone. Centers it cross ice to Bellamy. Bellamy drops it for Martins. Martins has a lane. Martins fires it. Just wide of the net and out of play. 147 remaining in the second period here at Humber College between the Toronto Toros, who lead the Calgary Selects, four to nothing, on three, four actually, second period goals. Phillips back into the Selects. Paul out. Toro's counter with Odo, Martins, McLean, and Bellamy. Luciandro still between the pipes of the Toros. Manor card for the selects. Face off to the left of Manor card. Martins finds it in his own zone. Uses the boards to chip it out. Barrett picks it up on the half boards for the selects in his own zone. Leaves it with the captain. Doors close. Trying to find Fuller who's waiting for the breakout pass. Phillips now with the selects behind his own zone. Chips it off the boards. Doors close finds it. Tries to go wide on Martins, but Martins has a strong stick and manages to spill it from him. Martins now launches it from his own zone. Tries to hit the target, but manages to shoot it wide. Throws to us now, finds it behind his own net in the select zone. Makes a sweet move on Odo, but Odo manages to recover and pin him in the corner behind his own zone with 37 seconds remaining in the second frame. Select clear. Martin's in pursuit. Picks up the ball in the Toro zone. Martin's looking for another long distance shot again. Manages to fire it, but Manitar, easy save. Phillips for the selects. Clears it, but Bellamy blocks it. Odo fires it back in deep to the select zone. Baird on it. Phillips is probably just going to try to kill the clock in his own corner. Four seconds left in the second period. But the ball goes out of play, but 1.5 seconds remaining in the second frame.
While Powder Hockey can be a high scoring game, Toronto Toros are in pretty good shape right now, managing to limit the Calgary Select's chances right now. And that's it. At the end of two, the Toronto Toros lead the Calgary Select's four to nothing. Goal scored by Lamine Raonat in the first period, followed by two by Severia Romano in the second for the Toros, and Michael Martin, the fourth goal of the game for the Toros, on a turnover, top shelf snipe on Manor Car. He had no chance. Four thirty remaining in the second intermission. Toro seemed to like their performance thus far. Their offense came to line, started to make some great plays. It'll be interesting to see what the Calgary Selects do here in the final 20 minutes. Down 4 nothing. They don't have a true number one player like the Toronto Toros though, meaning some of that has full range of motion. So their offense is a little bit limited, but they have a strong secondary attack and attack as a team, but it'll be interesting to see if they can turn it around, cut into this Toros four goal lead here in the final 15 and made it interesting. Select's got to be thinking offense here. The Toros, on the other hand, play their same game. Keep tipping the ball in, maintain possession, keep it away from their net. Lucy Andrew hasn't truly been tested uh, quite often so far here in the opening game, so don't let, don't, don't have that change. Again, the Selects, on the other hand, they can't be upset with their performance. Playing strong defense, they have limited the Toros. A few miscues here and there in the final 10 minutes of the second frame led to uh, the ball being found in the back of their net, but they're playing solid. So they start to think a little bit more offensively here in the third period to make this game interesting. At the conclusion of this game, the Michigan Mustangs and the Philadelphia Flyers power play. A young team, but an extremely skilled team, will face off here, the two American teams. That's a rematch of last year's 2018 North American Championship with the Philadelphia Flyers power play. So in pretty convincing fashion, so I'm sure the Michigan Mustangs will wanna try to revenge that one here at Humber College after the Toros and Selects wraps up in about an hour's time. Make sure to follow along at PH Canada Cup. Tweet us your thoughts, favorite moments, anything you got.
can't talk because you'll hear me on the YouTube. Third period underway in about 10 seconds here between the Toronto Toros and the Calgary Selects. Toros up 4 nothing. And as a reminder, I said follow along at PH Canada Cup. That was my mistake. It's 2019 PH Canada Cup across Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So follow along, interact with us. Tell us who you're cheering for. While the selects are down for nothing, I've been very impressed. Ben Thorne at the faceoff dot here has been a hound on the ball, not letting anybody on the Toros have a clear path, always pressuring them. Looks like the Toros have made a few substitutions. Ramon at bat in the game with Martins and Sarid. And Rachel Dean checking into the game for the first time on the bat end. For the Calgary Selects, they've also made a couple of changes. Phillips is out. And on the back end, we got Jaden Chaban making his first appearance in today's game. So Dean in for the Toros. Chabin into the selects, getting the first taste of the 2019 Power Hockey Cup here in the third period. Third period underway. Three has the ball in the select zone for the Toros. Three tries to center out in front, it's blocked by Chaba. Ball goes in behind the select zone. Barrett fighting with Ramonat in the corner. Ramonat has it. Works his way up to the slot. Went into the lane, but gets hammered by Ben Thorne. Thorne's going to the box of that one for sure. Free now in the corner. Being pressured by Chaban. So let's touch the ball. Ben Thorne going to the box for two. That'll be the Toronto Toros first power play of the night. Let's see if they can extend the damage here. Jack Lemieux ends in the game for the Toronto Toros. Crowd gave us a little cheer for that one. Martins and Raunek out. Fareed stays in. Joined by Romano and Lemieux up front. Face off to the right of Manor Car. Fareed wins the draw. Close to the center line. Makes a nice move on draws toes. It's taken to the net. Lemieux's going far post. He sends it to Lemieux and he just misses the backdoor pass from Harris. Ben Thorne, two minutes for dangerous driving. We don't want to see anybody get hurt here. They can't allow that. Ball in the corner behind the select net. The captain goes to us, finds it with the select. Carries it up the center ice. Makes a great move at Romano at the blue line. Goes to us now, in on Dean. Goes to us, trying to get his way into the slot, but he's trapped by three Toros. So he finds it, drops it for Romano. Romano tries to find Bellamy, turnover. So he's there to steal it back. So he now, in on Chabana. Gets the shot through, but Manor Card makes a great front tire save. Ball gets clear to Romano. He fans on the one timer from the blue line. Romano now finds the ball, but Barrett steals it back, clears his own for the selects on the penalty kill. Three makes a great move for the Toros over the center line in the slot. 
Stick handling with it. Nolan's pressuring him, so he takes his time with it. Loses it, regains it back, fires it on net, just wide of the top corner. Lemieux now in the corner of the Toros, finds it behind the select net. Caban is on him, as well as throws close. Toro still leads 4-0 with 12-21 remaining in the final frame. Chabano, so the Selects took a penalty there. Thinking delay of game, but not quite sure. In any case, the Toros remain on the power play. <whistles> Lamano wins the draw back to Ferris. Shots blocked as he tries to backhand it towards the net. Gross tires the it clear. Thorne comes out of the box. Toro still on the penalty kill, but not a two man advantage anymore as Thorne comes out. Harris now on the two on one. Makes a nice move around Manicar and tucks it in. <laughs> Harris Farid showing his patience as he goes forehand, backhand around Manicar to tap it in the empty side. Five to nothing, Toros. Romano comes out after that one, replaced by. Bellamy, Ryan Bellamy, Cabana comes out of the box and takes a position on defense for the selects. Face off at center ice. Toros win it. Sarid launches it from center ice. Manor Car makes a great hand save to knock the ball over the crossbar. Those first finds it now. Off the boards, he's going in on a two on one. He's out four and with him, he gives it to Thorne. Thorne can't get there, and Luis Andrew uses his long stick to swat the ball into the corner. The Calgary selects best chance of the night right there, but Luis Andrew, a smart veteran goalie, uses his long hole stick to clear the ball away from harm's danger. Lumia over center trips the ball into the Toros. Grows close, now with the select, takes it from behind his net, uses Thorn as the pit, gets over center, around to Reed. Shot on net from close to the goal line. It's sitting under Lucy Anvil, but he can't get there. Face off to the left of Lucy Anvil on the Toro's goal. Bellamy on the draw with Thorn now. <whistles> Thorn wins it to the wall, goes off the wall to Gross Toes, Gross Toes, going around the top, tries to center it, but it's blocked by Farid. Farid now over center. Gross Toes steals it back with the selects. Fighting for it with Farid at the center line. Freed chips it in. Calgary selects regroup in their own zone. Ben Four now tries again. And once again, Freed stops him, but this time, ball bounces over his chair and out of play. Face off at center ice. 9.55 remaining. Toronto Toros five. Calgary selects zero. Calgary slots have definitely been pushing the ball up the floor a little bit more in the first five minutes of this period. But to no avail, they haven't been able to break through the Toro's defense and get one by Luis Andro. Slots dump the ball in deep. Rachel Dean to the Toro's, touches it, leaves it for Harris Farid. The captain of the Toronto Toro's, I might add. Free now, behind his own net. 
Looking for some space to carry it out. Being pressured by Thorne once again. Fareed finds some room. Gets halfway out of the zone, but gets blocked. Into the select now, Jacob McGregor up on forward. Gross Harris playing with the ball for the select. Finds some room, dumps it in the select zone, chases after it and regains possession. Works the ball out into the slot. Loses it a little bit, but regains control and dumps it back in. Thorns on it. Select. Out to McGregor at the point. McGregor loses it. Here comes Odo on a two on one. Odo around Chaba, trying to get to the net. Sends it out of run to Lemieux, but Lemieux can't get there. Dummy keeps it in. Thorne tries to clear it, but Farid steals it. Farid makes a great stick handle. Coming in tight on Manor Car. Lurton is right down the right side. Jaden Chaba blocks him in. Great play. Ben Thorne steals it. Goes to us now on the puck, right to the select. One on one. Makes a great move, but Dean stays with him. So let's clear the zone. Boards apart a little bit here, so the play gets blown dead. 7 11, 7 10 remaining in the third period. We got a goaltending substitution for the Toronto Toros. Luigi, Luigi Andro out. Dan DePacci in between the pipes for the first time. Harris Farid also comes out. Michael Martin's coming back in. The selects on the other ten have Ben Thorne, Nathan Grosskos, Jacob McGregor, and Jaden Chaba on the blue line with Ishan a man of power between the pipes. Ben Thorne over it with the selects. Tries to Test to poach you right away. Sticks this aside. Goes close. Behind the Toro's net. Trying to walk out into the slot, but he's double teamed right away by Bellamy and Martins. McGregor comes in with the support on the blue line with the selects. Peels back. Thorn sharp angle chance, but the poaching easily steers it aside with his front tire. Curves close again for the select. Turns it over at the center line to Martins. Martins goes around Chaba. Martins gets a shot on that. Manitor save. Shot, rebound, save. Manitor with two big stops on Michael Martins. Bellman now for the select. Getting double teamed. Plays blown dead. 518 the main in the final frame here at Humber College in Toronto, Ontario. Jacob McGregor calls for a penalty or selects. Toro's bat on the power play. Already up five to nothing. Ball behind Manitourar in the select zone, but Delos Coast, the captain, finds it. Clears the ball away from danger. Into the Toro zone. Great pass over the floor, but he misses it. McGregor, a few seconds ago, was called for a crease violation. If you're unfamiliar with the game of power hockey, there's a rectangular crease square area around the goalkeeper. 
If the ball is not in there, no part of your wheelchair or stick is allowed to be in that zone. If it is, you'll get increased violation penalty. Face off to the right of Depachi, the Toros. Martins wins the draw, takes it behind his net, chips it out. Lemieux chasing it down. Chaba steers it into the corner with a select. Her captain throws close, picks it up. You find some room. He breaks out. Him and Thorne are going in on a two on two. Throws close, is trying to center it. Can't do it. Michael Martins is right there. Martins off the wall. We got Lemieux and Bellamy on a two on one. Chaba with the great defensive play though to break it up. Thorne clears it with a select. Thorne steals off Martins deep in the Toro zone. Thorne now in the corner. Thorne centers the errant run. Martins picks it up behind his own net. Martins chips it out. Chaba there to block it for the select, so it can't get any closer to her net. Gross close finds it. Gets over the corner, Toro center line. Watson fakes the backhand. Drops off the form, but it's intercepted and sent down into the select zone. Jacob McGregor out of the box now to the selects. Ben Thorne just broke down the wind, shot it wide. Ball goes out of play with 2.31 remaining in the third period. Toros lead the Calgary selects 5 to nothing in the opening game of the 2019 Power Hockey Canada Cup here in Toronto, Ontario at Humber College. Face off in front of the Pochi in the Toronto Toros end. Michael Martins wins the draw with Toros. Finds the lane, breaks out two on, or one on two. Goes around McGregor, goes around Chaba. Gets a shot on net, saved by Manor Car. But Martins finds his own rebound. In behind the select zone. Centers the edit run. Ball gets stuck in Joe's house's front pedals, but he manages to kick it free back onto the stick. Carries it in over the center line around Martins. Tries to center it, blocked by Rachel Dean. Toros know they have this one now, just trying to keep everything to the outside and preserve their shutout. Four now, great play. Thorne walking in one on one. Dean tries to make a move, but Thorne gets stopped by Depachi. Goes to us now in the Toro zone. Fires it behind the Toro's net. Thorne for the select, picks it up. Bellamy's on him, he runs over Bellamy. Thorne shoots wide. Thorne and Bellamy on hot pursuit on Martins, who just picked up the ball through the Toros behind his own hold with a minute remaining in the final period here. Martins now finds the ball, dumps it in on net. Man in the with the easy save. Chabot clears it to the side. Gross Toss finds it. Alex McLean now into the game on the flight of the Toros. Immediately, Gross Toss cracks his own. Gross Toss walking in, tries to center it, but Ryan Bellamy in perfect position to stop that pass from getting to Ben Thorn for the tap bin. Seems like the Toronto Toros are going back on the penalty kill here, but 20 seconds remaining in the third period. Close game to start. Toronto Toros were only up 1-0 after one. Romano added two and Martins added one in the second stream to blow this game wide open and the Calgary select offensive foul power just wasn't there tonight. The Toronto Toros take game one of the 2019 Palo Hockey Canada Cup of their cross-country Canadian rivals the Calgary Select at a score of five to nothing. Ramin Raumat scored the first. Severia Romano scored the next two. Michael Martin sniped with a few minutes left in the third. And the Toros, Harris Farid added one more on a beautiful goal to seal this one, five nothing. In just over 45 minutes time, the two American teams, the Michigan Mustangs and the Philadelphia Fire, sorry, Philadelphia Power Play, 
will square off in the second game of the 2019 Power Hockey Canada Cup. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at 2019 PH Canada Cup. Let us know where you're watching from. Send us your questions. Tell us who you're cheering for. We'd love to hear. Teams are just shaking hands right now. Good sportsmanship with the 2019 Power Rock and Canada Cup. And the Toronto Toros, Severio Romano, who scored two goals in this morning's 5 0 victory, has named the team's player of the game. He had an impressive performance. Came in, scored a beauty goal on a wrap round, and had another great shot off the face off the, off the crossbar, off Manitar's back, an unfortunate bounce, and then rolled into the back of the net over the line. Calgary Select MVP coming up here soon. And the Calgary Select MVP is Ishan Manor The goaltender well deserved. Was getting peppered throughout most of this game by the Toronto Toros but hung in there and made a lot of nice saves. Two unfortunate bounces at Lauren and Salt, but all in all, a solid performance in the losing effort. Key reason why the Calgary Selects were managed to stay in this game. Once again, the Toronto Toros, the host of the 2019 Power Hockey Cup, take game one of the tournament over the Calgary Select by a score of five to nothing. Michigan Mustangs and the Philadelphia Flyers power play will be up next at 1.30. Make sure to tune in. <laughs> 